I'm Matthew McCoff, and here are your latest headlines from churchmilton.tv news. Sources on Capitol Hill confirm dissenting Catholic pro abort Nancy Pelosi will seek to remain the Democratic minority leader. Pelosi is a 13-term liberal leader and a NARAL pro-choice darling who claims she is an ardent practicing Catholic and has said publicly that the doctors of the church have nothing definitive to say about abortion. The Congresswoman also pointed out earlier this year when talking about the HHS contraception mandate that in the past, the Catholic Church has never enforced its Catholic teaching on contraception, claiming that now the Church expects the government to do it for them. For the first time, the United Nations has declared access to contraception a universal human right, directing their statement at poor countries. The UN Population Fund's annual report declares that any legal, cultural, or financial barriers countries have as obstacles to women receiving birth control are an infringement on women's rights and will be seen as a violation of human rights. These statements come as the United States and England, among other countries, continue coercive efforts to imperialize African nations with abortion and homosexuality in their cultures. Community health clinics are a pick over Planned Parenthood for Ohio's state funding as GOP lawmakers head into a lame duck session reattempting to defund America's abortion giant. The General Assembly is, att is attempting to revive a law that stalled last spring, which could take over one and a half million dollars away from Planned Parenthood. We will, have, we will have our eye on this story to bring you the latest, and you can read more about it on our resource page by clicking the link right outside the screen. The militant atheists of the Freedom From Religion Foundation are asking Barack Obama to exclude God from the presidential oath. Their letter to Obama cites the increase of knowns in America, or people who have no religious affiliation, claiming that now is the time to court secular Americans, since Obama isn't planning to run for future office, encouraging the complete removal of God from the oath. While you're at it, the letter asks, why not place your hand on the Constitution instead of a Bible? With the goal of hijacking the minds of kids and getting them to deny God, the American Humanist Association has launched a new website called kidswithoutgod.com. The executive director of the site calls it a friendly community for children who may not be ready or willing to ask an adult about non-belief, providing them with information that is not colored by what he calls, quote, supernaturalism. To begin building popularity, the American Humanist Association is spending $30,000 on a bus ad campaign in the Washington, D.C. area including ads with pictures of kids with their arms crossed that say things like, quote, I'm getting a bit old for imaginary friends. Bishops at the USCCB General Assembly have decided not to release a document on the economy as originally planned, but they have decided to spend more of their own money to boost communications. U.S. bishops voted to add a director of public affairs for their whole conference with the intent of helping them bolster their communications effectiveness and strategy. A specific description of the new position is in the conference is not available yet, but is reportedly a work in progress. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks more about the Catholic campaign for human development and defrauding the faithful. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends, and may God bless you.